my heart. When the CEO is a Buddhist, Muslim, a recreation, an atheist, it breaks my heart. When the believers are not at the front lines. This is why Sometimes you want permission and say there is no permission. Because we don't hold the fourth. I mean, seriously, if the first 20 millionaires in this country were believers, politicians will start taking us serious. They feel we are a bunch of people who make a lot of noise. That's what they feel. And all they feel we can do, we have the numbers to vote. So when they need votes, they come to church. Yeah. But when it comes to discourse, dialogue, and making pertinent and important decisions, they don't consider the church worthwhile. Yeah. This is why we still have a bill in parliament for all this while concerning LBGT, QQ, uh, whatever. We'll be to what a friend in Yonkut. We can't make a simple decision. We can't do that. Because they don't take us serious. Unbelievable. Church of, uh, what is your name? I'm going to go sorry. I'm going to go and 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 do you know the number of those people? Do you know the number? Yeah. These guys, are, the election is on the 7th and it's a Saturday. And they are making a point. They seem that there is not even a decision. Huh? Because they don't take you serious. Our foundations are weak. Very weak. All they see us to do is we will kill and vote. That's all they can see. Jomba, sorry. Uh, Papa, Money two thousand, a month for thousand. I mean, if they take us serious, we should be able to receive offers just like they do in England and places. If I have a service in England this morning and God blesses the service with, let's say, 10,000 pounds, government will give me 3,000 plus at 3,000, and that is they call it gift aid. So, anybody who is doing church in UK is a charity and government gives them 30% of every income that comes to the church. When in the streets, it's okay. I hope maybe you know the man so risk. Very interesting. I mean, so why can't anybody even come to church and say government has the tithe of the nation and our tithe is that billion cities and we put it on the and we will pray for you in a time of crisis. Look at what we are going through. A nation don't pay tight. We are not serious. If we are serious, look at the kind of players we line up for the black star. Division two, division three players, you know, you call this stuff. We are very interested. You are not a serious nation. Look at the players other nations have presented at the AFCON. I'm not a football fan. I feel it's too trivial. It doesn't matter. But the moment the nation, the flag of the nation is represented, then we need to bring everything to the table. If Sumi and Grove, we are no matter from. Immediately we get a ball, we are running back when everybody is running for. We are very sick people. Shari Papa. And because these false prophets have seen that we are a sick nation, they come playing with our minds. Yeah. They know we are sick. And they have seen the vacuum. Let me tell you, criminals are not fools. Oh. Criminals are very smart and intelligent people who are preying on the minds of people. I'm telling you. They are only twisted and perverted. Nothing else. We are not a serious nation. A context that is you know ready to give almost about seven million to the winner ask me what is our budget for upcoming and then you will know that Thank you.
Let me talk to you about the last one and I'm closing. Lamentation chapter 3 and verse number 27. The Bible said it is good for a young man to bear the yoke of the Lord while he is still young. And yet, my brand peer, someone swear that he couldn't hear a you know, it is good for a turn this into a different version. In another version, the Bible said clearly, he said, it is good for a man to beg another version. In this one, the Bible said, it is best to learn this patience in your youth. Another one, the Bible, it is good for people to submit at an early age to the yoke of God's discipline. This is the year that above all the things, part of your solid and strong foundation, you must do something for God. Do something for God and his kingdom. Let me put it in a different way. Work for God. When I say work for God, I'm not only talking about preaching. There are too many poor and vulnerable people all around us who need help. business. The work of God is some gold mine for you. You see people like commodities to put money in your pocket. You have forgotten that we shall all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And whatever we do in this body, we will come and account for. Let me bring the camera. Let me talk to all these young people and pastors and so-called prophets who are seriously sleeping with girls all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Because God is a holy God. And I'm addressing you that the earlier you make a detour or a U-turn from your looseness and your sexual immorality, the better before God shames you. I'm warning you. Wicked prophets of Ghana, hear the word of God. You have a wife, you can sleep with other women and still cheat them. God will punish you. God will judge you. You can have people bring, you know, three, four women to church and say, these are my wives. You are sick. You are sick. We need to be able to tell people, stop fooling. I Jimmy! I Jimmy, you know, the two hands are lifted up. Captain of Israel's host, help us. Help us to align to your grace. Solid foundation number five will be the Holy Spirit. And since I'm asking him to do something, I have mentioned it. Without the Holy Ghost, you can't serve God. Nobody can obey God without the Spirit of God. Wherever you are, your two hands are on your heart. And we are asking God's Spirit to take over your life and this nation. Spirit of God! Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and talk to him. Let's pray for this country. With your right hand on your heart, I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. With all my... Hold and defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. I want you to stretch your hands on Ghana's flag that is on the altar of God. Please pray for this country. You know, the Bible said, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The third stanza of the national anthem, he said, raise high the flag of Ghana. Raise it high. Raise it high. Senegal has similar colors. Came into tournament. It's got like they are just drinking water. Heal our land. Help.
without my president this is the days where leadership is required all over the world give grace to our leader to be able to distinguish his tenor of stewardship i ask in the name of jesus that the nation will be healed the soul of the nation will be healed and restored our national reserves will increase and our deficit will decrease in the name of jesus give us peace peace within our walls prosperity within our palaces in a precious name of jesus now lord i pray that this week will be a week of grace signs and wonders healing restoration restitution recovery it will be a week of open heavens a week of provision a week where grace will bring the years which the Amawem, the Kankawem, the Caterpillar have devoured. I pray that mercy will uh, brood over us as never before. Be exalted. You are a faithful God. In Jesus' precious name, I make intercession for people in the hospitals, in the in the, in the prisons, in the in the cells, and, and all that. God come through for your people.